Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, the real episode one. All right, so I made so many mistakes last episode, it wasn't even funny. Uh, the biggest mistake I made was not picking my survivors, okay? So we had to start over. You know, we learned a lot in the first episode. Let's do a real first episode. I went ahead and went through all these people. You know, part of the reason I didn't want to go through all the survivors was because I have a thing called analysis paralysis. I like to min-max. So I'm going through here trying to figure out, well, this person's good in farming and this one's good in intellect. And what do I do? Blah, blah, blah. You know what? Forget all that because I'll never get to play if I keep doing that. So let's just go through our people. I've got two ladies and two gentlemen. All right. So we've got Kana. I have no idea how to say that last name. Probably messed up the first name as well. From satisfyingly gross slimes to intricate jewelry, there is nothing that the talented Kana can't make from regular household items and cheap craft supplies. Her book, Change Your Life with the Magic of DIY, became a bestseller, and Kana has Kana? 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 Eh, you guys let me know. Strong A or not? Uh, has millions of followers on social media. Oh, cool. Um, eagerly, oops, sorry. Eagerly awaited, awaiting her latest tips and tricks. All right, so here's her traits. Uh, relax, relaxes by writing short stories that inspire others when read. That sounds awesome. Refuses to eat meat. That's not a great one. I'm going to have to pick some berries. And she's a half-sister of Ken. And basically, she's going to be my crafter. And she's kind of got a lot of other skills that aren't that bad. Um, <clears throat> she could probably cook a little bit. And well, she's mostly going to be crafting. Um, but yeah, that crafting skill is so high. And I love her short stories thing. All right. So she's got a half-sister. Oh, sorry. She's a half-sister of Ken. And here's Ken. All right. Uh, brought up on the world. Brought up on a world in constant wars. Like most of his friends, Ken, is, Ken finished high school and trained to be a soldier. Young and feisty, he prefers he prefers giving rather than taking orders, however. And after just a handful of military operations, he was discharged for insubordination. Since the age of 18, he has found his place among the ruthless gangs of the space marauders. Okay. Um, he, f he finds twice, twice more scraps metal during scavenging operations and expeditions. Interesting. Uh, he's bloodthirsty. He gets happiness when he observes death. So that's good because he's great combat. He's the half-brother of Kana and grandson of Yoko. All right. So look at his stats, man. I mean, he's combat of seven and he's interested in it. And he's good at physical. Um, for those of you who don't know, physical, uh, the ability of the, uh, the physical ability of the survivor, it affects the speed at which the survivor performs activities such as scavenging, mining, and cutting. All right. So he that's a really good pick right there. I really, I really like that guy. Then we've got Quinn. All right, uh, Quinn is on the lookout for his twin brother. A, I wonder if his twin brother will be in the game, like one of the survivors I meet or something. A sus, a suspect of murder on the run. Ooh, determined to find out the find out the truth. He wanders the universe as an onboard engineer, hoping to catch the trail of his brother. Interesting. Um, he loves going on expeditions. Um, expeditions take less time. Permanently increased happiness. I really like that permanent increased happiness. I got him for his construction. He's actually good in intellect and physical as well. He, he's probably going to be my intellect guy uh, as well. So then we've got Rita. A lively and strong-willed Rita always has an interest in plants. So it was no surprise that she graduated top of her class in xeno, xenobotany. What shocked everyone was her decision to decline a job as a lecture, lecturer and sign for a program helping planets on the verge of ecological collapse. This uh, this would take Rita on all sorts of weird places around the universe, something that uh, she greatly enjoys and treasures. All right, so I got her for her farming, and she's not a bad backup combat person, uh, and it, her intellect ain't bad as well, though she's not interested in it. So, um, yeah, all right, and uh, has a chance to field observe unknown species during expeditions as permanent increased happiness. I, that happiness means a lot to me. All right, so that's my crew. Let's go ahead and start the game. And here we are. Not as great of a start as before. What the hell? <laughs> I guess stuff's still crashing in. Anyway, um, here we are. All right, this is the start. It's not as good as last time because I don't see any berries. Uh, there, I did look around, and there are some berry bushes over here that aren't too far. But um, actually, that's a pretty good berry patch right there. It's a lot farther than before, though. Um, so I'm going to have to look for some berries and try and get some berries over here because we do have a vegetarian. All right. I went through their management tab and their activities, <clears throat> and yeah, it's not perfect, but you know, it's it's better than it was before. Um, that's my constructor um, right here. That's my hunter. Right here is my harvester. Um, there's um, cut down trees. That's like a, it's like a one. 
Uh, the reason I can't use Ken or Quinn is because they're doing too many other things. So I'm going to have to use a one to cut down trees. There's not much I can do about that. Um, scavenging, planting. I chose Ken to scavenge because he has that um, one trait. Where is it? Uh, finds places more scrap metal during scavenging operations. I didn't know what expeditions were. Apparently expeditions are... Um, orders, camp. It's, it's in here somewhere. Um, you could do expeditions. Yeah, there we go. And those go, like, really far away. I'll look into those later, though. I might not actually be able to do them yet, but... Alright, so because we did episode one, you know, just, just God, a couple days ago, I'm going to set up a little base camp here. Uh, just a little bit, a couple huts, a couple sleeping quarters, and then uh, I'll come back. Alright, so I got a little sleeping quarters here. I'm going to have everyone sleep together for the first night or two, and then I will separate the sleeping quarters. One mistake that I made last episode, one of many mistakes, was the sleeping quarters. Um, by the way, if you see a question mark, that means they're idle. Um, the sleeping quarters were too close together and people were disturbing each other's um, sleep. So that was, a, that was a bit of a problem last episode. I also have some tree cutting going on. And down here I have the studying of a bush. Uh, this one right here. Alright, 10% studied. Uh, the idea is to get is pick as many berries as I can and then maybe start a farm up here so I don't have to go all the way down there all the time. It's not as good as last start with the berries, but what are you going to do? I've also got Ken scavenging right here, so that's what we're looking at so far. Okay, the berries have been studied, which is awesome. I think we're going to pick some of these now. Um, I don't know if I should pick all of them. Probably not. We'll just pick a bunch of them. Go ahead and harvest those. Somebody. Um, I, I have found some pants and a bunch of food, which is awesome. Um, we only have uh, four medicines. We started with ten. I think they might have used them because they got hurt in the crash. So... You know, it is what it is. I guess that's understandable. I do have four sleeping quarters here. The problem is there's no walls to, like, separate them. So I'm going to see if this will work. If this will still give them disturbed sleep, it might. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I'm also studying this bush right here. because Oh, there we go. We got a cloth blossom. All right. There's the health, the growth, the growth rate temperature soil. Um, it's growing. Uh, it gives you cloth. Fail chance at farming. Blah, blah, blah. I can't harvest it because it's not ready. Um, what I need is sticks. I'm not really sure. I thought I'd get sticks from that. Maybe I get sticks if I cut them. I think I got some more over here. I think I might cut those down. I'd like to... Man, I'd really like to just pick them for cloth. I'm assuming I could farm them. Yeah, I think I could farm them. Alright, I'm going to cut these down. They're going to kind of be in the way of the building anyway. So, let's just go ahead. And we'll harvest them first, and then we'll cut them. I think that'll be a good idea. Alright, we, we do have Quinn, who is not doing anything. So let's see what Quinn's deal is. Uh, Quinn, buddy old pal. What do you got going on here, man? Alright, so he would be doing the mining. Uh, yeah, okay. Do we want to do some wait, wait, he's not researching. That's right, I'm not researching anything. Okay, so I'm going to research something else, and then I'm going to get to work on a research bench. Actually, I don't know if there's anything else in this immediate area to research. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything that's obvious. Oh, blade grass. Go observe that, buddy. All right, cool. Now, while he's doing his thing, I am going to uh, set up some more um, insufficient storage space. Okay, that's not that's not going to work for me. Um, okay, I see why. All right, so I basically made it so this storage space wouldn't be used, and then I had it emptied, and now we're going to deconstruct it. And then we're going to move one more bed over here, and what we'll do is this will be another storage space right here. Okay, so bed, open spot, storage base. Bed, open spot, storage base. And then rinse and repeat. And we'll see if that'll work for them. While that's doing that, I will go ahead and make some more shelters. Now, this is going to be for crafting stuff. Now, um, uh, okay, so I'm not really sure. I'd like to put this right here, but I don't want the wall to disappear. I don't think there's any way to do that, right? That wall is going to disappear. I want these buildings separate. If I do it like this... Um, actually, if I do it like this, will the wall disappear? I think it will. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, so cancel that. Okay, well, I'm still, I'm still learning the building. And if I do the shelter like this... How does that work? Oh, okay, it disappears that way. Okay, alright. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. I, I want those things to stay... Eh, you know, I can always move this stuff back. You know what? No, I'm okay with that. That'll be cool, because I can move the sleeping stuff back and make it a little deeper. Which, you know, would probably be better for them. They'd be like, oh, man, I'm more protected, you know? Uh, story, camp, this, this, hold down shift. And there we go. Alright, and then what we could do is we could put the sleeping areas back here and then have the workbenches up here. 
uh, or yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that works. So what we're gonna do is we need to deconstruct this, and then we move the bed. Okay, that should work. That should work, my friends. I might actually um uh, make these storage areas all the way to the end. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it just yet. I don't think this is the ultimate building mechanic in the game. I think there's other building mechanics you can you can do. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and cut these down because I'm hoping I get like sticks for them because I need sticks for the fire. I've been trying to make a fire forever and I need sticks. So it is what it is. All right, let's go ahead and speed up time a little bit. So um, we're gonna check these people to see if they if they're we're gonna give them another day and then we're gonna check their sleeping and see if they have this uh, undisturbed sleep. This guy's still sleeping next to somebody. So oh no, he still got a disturbed sleep. Okay, all right. I'm, I think I'm gonna make like an uh, sleeping area, maybe like pretty far away, and this would be like a crafting area. Now where would I want to make the sleeping area? I think over here would be pretty cool. Let's do that now. So we're going to need one for each person, and we don't want them connected. There, 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 and there. We'll see. I'm still learning. Insufficient metals. Okay. Well, he should be getting metals. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Is there still metals on the ground? I do have one person hauling, because you need someone to, to deliver. Because otherwise stuff stays on the ground. And if it stays on the ground, it's going to go bad. Alright, that's fine. We're learning. We are learning. Oh yeah, science. I gotta get a science thing going. Alright, so I think right here is okay to put a furniture production. No, science. Research desk. And this is one problem I, I had last episode. Oh, we'll make one out of wood. Dedicated space for experiments and research. Now, is this one, like, more efficient? I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm gonna make the wooden one. So this is one mistake I was making last time. I wasn't paying attention where the arrows were. So, um... Yeah, it seems like a good spot right there. Sure, why not? And we're also going to make a workbench. What is a chopping block for? Oh, splitting of wood. Oh, you can split wood into... Okay. You know what? I'm gonna chop them anyway. They're gonna be in the way. But yeah, so you could split wood into sticks. That's great. That's great. Drying rack. Uh, we need sticks for that. Um, we could do this one right now. Dries raw resources over time. Has built in, has a built-in roof. Slows down the drying process, but allows products to be stored longer before spoiling. So that's the large drying rack. The small one dries resources over time. All right. So I'm assuming this one's better. Comes with its own roof. Yeah, let's go ahead and make it. All right, so that uh, I don't know, like right there. Seems like a good spot for a drying rack. <laughs> yeah, so they're gonna get disturbed sleep because they're still close to each other. Um, we're obviously, hunger disturb. Yeah, disturbed sleep is a problem. Okay, that's a problem we have to fix asap. All right, let's go ahead and speed up time. Did we get those fruits? We did. So we have we have something for the uh, uh, for the what do you call it? The vegetarian to eat. So that's cool. So we just found uh, more electronics. I found electronics earlier, and now I've got more electronics. And we just finished the research desk. So let's go ahead and do some research. What did I do first last episode? Weapon smithing, right? Yeah, yeah. Weapon smithing. So there we go. All right, weapon smithing. And now our science guy should be going crazy. Now he doesn't have a high science skill. Who is it, anyway? Is it Quinn? Uh, he doesn't have a high intellect, but he's interested in it. Um, I don't know what interested means, but I'm thinking it maybe either it makes him happy, or he's suddenly quicker. One or the other. Alright, so we're looking good there. Um, I should probably chop some trees. Yeah, maybe. Sure. No, not eight. Five sounds good. Chop some trees. Okay, so everyone's doing well. Um, camp, we still have the... They're not doing this. So these are set up to cut. But no one's cutting. So let's see what we got going on with the cutting. Um, yeah, you should really... Oh, number one's delivery. And it's more important than cutting. But they really... Kata shouldn't be delivering that much more. Unless she's delivering the berries. Oh, she's cutting the berries. Okay. Well, that is more important. Okay, then let's let sort of do our thing. By the way, you see the little thing in the background? That's their happiness. Um, so, yeah, we gotta do something with this guy. Uh, burnout. 
It's always do this, do that. I must relax. Let's do something to distract myself. Okay. Let's see if we can do something for happiness. We cannot. We need hay. All right, cool. We'll do some hay. Um, is, is this doing the right ones? Yeah, hay. Hey, yeah, it all looks good. Caught him. Yeah, we, I think we need another person to cut. I don't have anyone else that's good at it, though. Let's take a look. Um, Actually, I've got a few people that are good at it. But Ken... Well, it would give something Ken... It would give something different for Ken to do. But he is scavenging, and that's important. I still need more metal. Oh, man. Is, uh, and he gets twice the amount of stuff from scavenging. But he is not happy. Oh boy, I don't know what to do with him. Um, Alright, you know what? Let's put a hold on scavenging. We can't have this guy freaking out. He's like he's like a big combat guy. He starts shooting up the colony. Uh, let's go ahead and put... Cutting is number one for him. No, no, not her. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong person. Yeah, Ken. So hunt. Scavenge is right there. Number two. He should start, he should start uh, cutting now. And that'll give him something different to do. Hopefully brighten his mood up a little bit. It looks like we're going to have enough metal for that last one anyway. Alright, so you... Will get moved over here. You... Will get moved over here. You... I'm going to get rid of this disturbed sleep if it kills me. How long does disturbed sleep last for? Um, eight on foot, yeah, a few fun things to do, insufficient food variety. Dude, you've got rations and berries, what the hell else do you want? That's pretty good food variety, actually. Um, yeah, it seems like the, 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 the sleep thing isn't really that big of a deal, because it goes away pretty quick. So, alright. Well, them, be, them eating on foot is definitely something I could take, I could take care of. Um, we'll put a nice, uh, nice wooden table in here. Maybe we'll put a couple of them. That. Yeah, actually one will be good for now. And then we'll put some chairs. Okay, so that stuff's in the way. Um, should we, yeah, you know what? Let's just put this up against the wall. Alright, it's just about morning. Let's see how everyone's doing with the um, insufficient food. Okay, everyone has insufficient food variety. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna work on that next. Um, yeah, this stuff, um, they're not like worried about people waking them up in their sleep anymore. So that's cool. Alright, the happiness is definitely going up. Uh, food is my next thing. I need this to get done first. Can I put this on priority? I don't think I can. Can I make someone craft? Um, you know what? Can I force someone to just craft that one item? Um, Quinn is my crafting guy. He's also my research guy. By the way, having your crafting guy and your research guy is the same guy. is not great. Um, Quinn. Uh, construct chopper log reserved for, by Katana. Cancel. Okay. Or Kana, sorry. Alright, well, I think she'll she'll make that, but I want her to make that next. Um, so, yeah, she's going to do that next. Alright, cool. Very good. Alright, now we can get some sticks. Alright, so sticks. Uh, we're going to do, I guess, ten. I could have just pressed the ten button. Alright, now let's do twenty. Alright, until twenty. So it's three logs for ten sticks. Okay, great. That's awesome. So we've got until 20. So we'll always have 20 sticks. Uh, our logs are not looking great, but that should be okay. Let's go ahead and cut down a few more trees. Uh, I put down a, um, a sh shooting target thingy here. And we also have to finish this. This needs to get done. Um, like right now. Uh, so let's have... I never remember who my building guy is. I think it's Quinn. Yeah, it's Quinn. Okay, let's have Quinn stop what he's doing and construct the workbench. All right, that's cool. I like that because then I can have I can target things to do. Oh, by the way, I also made a storage thingy over here, a wooden shelf storage. I don't really know what makes that better or whatever, but it is what it is. Uh, so Rita's researching. Wasn't Quinn researching? Oh, that's right. I have them both researching. Okay, so Quinn is the one that's interested in researching. Well, Quinn can also do construction. You know what? Let's have Quinn do some construction. Have the other one research. Uh, and then, you know, that'll be cool. They're both threes. Just I have Quinn doing it because he's, you know. All right. So, okay. So that's just some storage stuff right there. Cool. And let's go ahead and do that. 
And then I'm probably going to take some of these storage things out of the middle. So let's go ahead and empty and deconstruct. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so we, we found a lot of, like, wep like pants and stuff. I'm going to see if we found any weapons. Um, let's go ahead and see if there's any guns. No guns yet. No weapons of any kind. But I think he's got a better... Oh. Scavenge. It's probably not... It probably hasn't gotten brought back yet, I guess. Oh, wait, no. That's that's just, that's a jacket. That's a t-shirt. All right, so this is 5100. Yeah, we still don't have it back yet. All right, that's fine. I'm assuming people... I do have someone on hauling duty, right? Yes, I do. This, this person will do nothing if there's anything to haul. And we do have our um, shooting target thing up, which is cool. And I think we're looking pretty good. We got the table built here where they can sit down and eat. And yeah, this is all looking... Uh, a lot better. This is looking a lot better. I think I'm going to deconstruct and empty this one as well. Okay. That is looking pretty good. Let's see what other, let's see what else we can make. We have planted some farms. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, farms right here. I wonder if the trees will grow back. I don't know. 2x2 uh, two two fruit field, soil, clay, negative 50%. Oh, there's different... Oh, I see. Negative 50% growth, negative 50%, ne negative 60, negative 50, negative 50. Oh boy. So, what was the growth down by the bushes? Wait, is that negative 75% growth or does that mean 75% growth? I think it means 70. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it means 75% growth. So, should we grow them over here? What is the best we can get over here? 75? I think the best we can get over here is 60. I think we should probably just go for the 60. Oh, 100% growth. Oh, hells yeah. You see how it says um, soil, whatever the soil is, and then the dash? I thought that dash meant negative, but it doesn't. All right, cool. Um, put one there. Uh, put one there. Oh, hold on. Hold on a sec. Uh, remove field. All right, let's try this again. Uh, farms, berries, 88, 100. So if I hold down the shift key, it's all one thing. Do I want to really make one that big? I don't think so. Let's make it that big for now. And then we'll just kind of take it from there. Now, our farmer is, like, farming, right? Um, cut, mine, craft, harvest, construct. Is it plant? Yeah, I think it's plant. Um, so plant is... Six. That's Rita. Let me just double check her stats. Yeah, farming. And she's interested in it. Okay, Rita. We need to get you on farming duty. Uh, we're going to put that as number one. And she's not my hauler, so that's good. Alright, that should work. So check this out. These guys are actually reading stuff. That's freaking awesome. I love it. Oh, Ken is going crazy. Hold on. What's wrong, what's wrong with Ken? Um, insufficient food variety... Um, well, we're cooking the rations. That should help with that, I think. Um, a few fun things to do. Stressed out, tired. So he's got this thing right here, but he doesn't have anything to shoot it with. But I did make some bows. So I don't know if they finished the bows or not. But Ken's not looking too good here. Let me see if I can give Ken a bow. Uh, nope. Bows aren't done yet. Son of a bee. Okay, is someone crafting? I need someone crafting. Craft. Um, well, they're delivering. Crafting is important, or delivering is important, but if they, you know, why don't we put cutting up to three and just have you craft? Because Ken, the thing is, I'm not sure what makes them happy, you know, like, what can I do to make them happy? Uh, I know what I could do to stop with the tiredness, but i um, stressed out. Yeah, he needs, he needs proper entertainment. Uh, okay, so there's other things I could do for entertainment. I could do this thing, but I need leathers. And I could do this, but I need dartboard. So Ken gets happy if he sees death. I wonder if shooting animals would help with that. I mean, it's death, right? If I send him out to hunt, maybe that would help. Uh, oh, here we go. Big horned animals. I don't know why these guys are dead, but okay. Well, we'll get leather from them, so. Butcher. Butcher. Man, there's a lot of dead. I hope these things don't attack. I don't know what's been killing these guys. Butcher. Hopefully nothing uh, screws up you while I'm over here. Butcher. Okay, so who's going to butcher? That's a good question. That's got to be... 
collecting harvest from wild and domesticated plants. Nope. Hunting. Hunters tend to approach prey that are silently deadly in movement. They are spotted. Affected uh, activities, hunting and butchering. Okay, so he's the hunter. Ken should go out and, and butcher these guys when he wakes up. Because that's what that's what he should do. Because his hunting is uh, two. And the only thing that would, he would do before hunting is um, healing. And he doesn't need to heal anybody. Production. Got a new production thing? Oh, yeah, the furnace. Okay, cool. So we are going to need some stone. Who would mine this stone? Uh, mine. That's Ken. But also this guy can do it. Uh, yeah, let's mine the stone. I'm going to put Ken's mining up to three. I really don't want him, like, doing mining right now. All right, so let's go ahead and get some stone. Okay, speed up time. Get this show on the road. Once he wakes up, he won't be exhausted anymore. Well, he's not exhausted anymore anyway, but he is hungry. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about Ken. Really worried about Ken. Um, see, again, I don't know what would give him joy except for shooting things. One thing I could probably do is put up lights. Um, sure, why not? Alright, and then another one here. And here. I don't know how good these lights are going to be. Also, there's supposed to be um, other, like, torches I can use. Not under orders. Light and heat. There we go. Wall torches. Or wooden torches. Now, should I put these wooden torches in bedrooms? Because wouldn't that, like, disturb their sleep? Or, or, or will they turn it off before they go to sleep? I mean, it's not really my fault if you don't turn off your torch before you go to sleep. So, we'll have to see how things are going to go. Who's going to build construction? All right, you will build Quinn. And you will do science. Man, Quinn's killing me. Plant. Okay, so I did extend these blueberry bushes. So they're planted. And that's that. Uh, Ken, Kenny, Ken. He's good at too many things. It's a problem. Alright, so construction. I'm going to have... Oh, actually, Quinn is my construction guy. Okay, Quinn's... Yeah, Quinn's fine. I mean, I want him to mine, but construction can come first. That's fine. I'm not in a super hurry with that. All right, so his hungry will go away. And... Okay, it was annoyed by Rita. All right, fair enough. Somewhat fed, decently fed. Okay. So, is someone cooking the rations? Uh, a cause for celebration. We put together a camp as quickly as... Oh, yeah, this is the celebration thing. We know about that. Yes, let's have the celebration thing. For sure. For sure. So these uh, storage chests are working or whatever. I don't, I don't know. Um, I guess... Okay, so here's my thought on these. I think each level, like level 1, level 2, and level 3, I think each level holds as much as one of these storage thingies. That's what I'm thinking. But who knows. Alright, Kenny. Where are you going, bud? Yeah, Ken's going to have to shoot shit. I need that crafting to get done, man. Like, who's my crafter? Why aren't they doing it? Crafter, crafter, crafter. Um, are they still delivering? Is Kana still delivering? Yep. You gotta deliver, though, man. You can't leave stuff out or it's gonna spoil. Alright. Are you done delivering? Yes! Make those bows, please. Aggressive animals. Ah, oh, shit. And I have no weapons. I have zero weapons. I can't believe I haven't scavenged any weapons. Like, how's that even possible? I'm hoping I could just avoid them. Where are they? Alright, so they're in the woods. Alright, you know what? We need weapons. Kana, you are going on number one weapon crafting duty. Cook, um... Harvest, construct, craft... Kana, number one. I know I know it shouldn't mess around. We need those bows. Oh, is she crafting a... That looks like a, a spear. Did she craft the bows already? Kenny boy, we might have something for you. No? That looks like a spear. Did I put the spears? No, the short bow's right there. Not enough resources. Son of a biscuits. What am I missing? Okay, the thing I think I was missing for the bow was the sticks. I thought I was missing the... The fabric, but the fabric, like as far as I can tell, fabrics and leather group includes, you see the third one? 
that's cloth, and I think I have cloth, so um, that should be okay. Um, Ken's going to have a meltdown. Um, burnout, he's doing the same thing. You're harvesting animals, Ken. When was last? It's the first time you ever harvested an animal, bro. What do you mean, burnout? Okay, well, I don't know about that, Kenny boy, but yeah, I mean, he's harvesting animals. Like, seriously, he hasn't done that before. All right, so it's insufficient. Oh, it says right there, sticks. Okay, great. Okay, cool. All right, so we just got to wait and hope the bugs don't attack. I, uh, okay, so as I was, like, learning the game, um, I probably should have done a little bit less of some other things. Like, maybe this whole, like, sleeping next to each other it really doesn't matter that early. Maybe I shouldn't have done the bushes. I'm not really sure. One thing's for sure, I should have got that weapons bench up faster, and I should have, like, got people going on that. Also, um, maybe I need to not have construct... Maybe I need to, like, when I pick my characters, not have, like, certain characters that are too good at certain things. Like, crafting and, and science was a, was a rough one. I've been... The science has been great. I was really good on the science, but, you know, some of the other things... All right, Ken. We're going to wait until he gets back. Because I don't want to stop him from doing what he's doing. What the frig are those? Oh, boy. Oh, we got an animal attack. Oh, me, unknown species. Okay. All right, Ken. You got to get back, bro. Draft. Get back. All right, who's my other fighter? Is it her? I think it is her. Yes. All right, so I could give you a spear. Yeah, this is a really bad setup here, man. I had laser weapons and shit last time. Now I've got some woman with a spear and nothing else. Oh, boy. Hurry up with those spears, man. All right, you will be drafted. Now, where are those bugs? All right, they're over there. Okay. So we'll put you right out there. Uh, you. Right there. Yeah, this is going to go horribly wrong. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They're coming in. Ken's coming back. Ken, you need to get a spear, my friend. He's not even... Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go right there. Hopefully he'll get a spear. Now, nah, that spear ain't going to be ready. We're going to be punching bugs to death. It's weird that I didn't find any laser pistols this time, right? All right we're just going to draft everyone and go ham. I don't know what else to do. Okay. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen quickly. And the bugs are all dead. Okay. Alright. Undraft. And let's see what we got here. These two are bleeding, so that's not good. Superficial bleeding. Bites. Yeah, they're all screwed up. Alright, so... Bleeding two per hour. Bleeding two per hour. Mile 30. Um, he's fine. And she is... Okay, um, I will put wait for treatment with her and then I will put people on Two on craft Two on plant and then let's do heals Wait, who's hurt Quinn and Rita? All right, good. Well Rita's a healer, but um, So we have to put someone else on healing probably all right, you're gonna go on healing All right, let's see if we can heal these guys and keep them alive. Uh, so nobody's going over to heal them. You know, another thing we can do is make more bandages, right? Um, craft, bandages, bandages, okay. Keep, uh, you know what, keep 20. Alright, go ahead. Alright, so nobody's healing them. I'm not really sure why. The healing is on number one. Alright, I think she's going over to heal them now. Campfire sitting! Oh, this is, <laughs> this is a shit show, people. Alright, so you are being treated, but I don't have any things left. I don't know why, um, why Ken isn't... I put Ken on healing, didn't I? Um, yeah, healing number one. I'm not really sure why he's getting food still. Why are these guys bleeding? Thank God they're not attacking me. Alright. That's it for treatment. Oh, they're still healing, huh? So what are they healing with? I only have first aid kits. Oh, they're starving. Can they bring them food? Like, why wouldn't they bring them food? Alright, we're gonna go long here. See how this goes. I'm soaking wet. Okay. Okay, so she's back. She's back. Alright, cool. So Rita can now heal. 
Um, let's put Rita on healing. And then we gotta take, uh, guys, you gonna help, uh, old Quinn there? Is anybody gonna help Quinn? There's nobody like Quinn. <laughs> Alright, I need bandages as well. So the person who's crafter, who is Kana, will also, um, well, she's going to heal Quinn. Let it, let's let her heal Quinn. And then we'll just, like, bang out bandages after that. I don't know if bandages are going to be good enough to heal the kind of stuff that this does. Let's take a look. Make bandage from cloth pieces. Bandage scrap cloth. Okay, it doesn't say anything. I, I don't know about, like, how good those bandages are, but... Um, I think that's about all I got. And I think the next thing I want to do is... Oh, didn't we have someone else who was hurt? Okay, uh, Don't wait for treatment anymore. No, wait for treatment because you need to help him. As soon as this person's done being helped, I will have her get treated. I don't know. I, maybe you can treat him without health kits. It's just harder. Uh, please help us improve the game. I've already, I've already said that. I've already done that thing before. All right. You don't have to wait for treatment anymore. You are doing okay, I guess. Okay. All right. So Reed is gonna. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right, so everyone's getting treated. All right, what I want to do now is I'm going to put Ken back on scavenging. So um, he's actually a pretty good healer. I'm going to put it on two, hunt on two, and then scavenging on two. I, I do want him to finish butchering the rest of those things out there. Although, maybe I should put him on scavenge, have someone else do that. All right, we're going to put you on two, and then this on two. Rita will heal until there's no one left to heal, and then they will do the hunting, which means they will go out and butcher those guys. I don't want Ken going out there to do the to do the uh, hunting right now. I want you to scavenge, Ken. Right, I guess he's going to go out there and do it anyway. Oh, no, he's scavenging this? No, he's going out there and do it anyway. I do have stuff to scavenge, right? Yeah. Scavenging in process. That one is... Um, zero of six. Does that mean that, that one's done? All right, there we go. Okay. Oh boy, that was a that was a shit show, man. What's with this bird? This fucking bird out of here, man. Observe. Someone observe the bird. We gotta put our science person back on. All right. You know what? I gotta stop this at some point. It's gonna be like a freaking hour long video. All right. Um, we will put these guys on butcher. And I think I'm going to stop right here. We survived an attack where we had one person with a spear and the rest were just punching the enemy. I think next episode, I need to concentrate on happiness and weapons. Um, I kind of got unlucky. Like, when my first game, I found two laser pistols. I, like, I think later on in the game uh, that I didn't record, I found, like, a laser spear. I found, like, all, all kinds of weapons. But you know what, guys? If you're playing, do not count on finding those kind of weapons because um, it's obviously not guaranteed. So next episode, I do have to concentrate more on weapons. Um, what are we missing here? Sticks, right? Probably. Alright, guys. Anyway, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.